Big surprise. They start construction right when the camera rolls. So you want some adventure. You want to simulate into an Asian culture. You want to lose 15 pounds in just four months from food poisoning. I could teach you those and many other secrets on becoming a TEFL teacher abroad. Play the opener. In this video, we're going to go back 15 years to the steps I took to become a teacher in China and then later on Thailand. I'm thinking this is going to be a three-part series. The first part will be me in the USA, me in China, then me coming to Thailand. So let's start with part one with me in the USA in 2004. I was working near Chicago for four years at an advertising agency as a web uh, multimedia designer. It was a good job, great people, you know, decent pay. I liked the type of work I was doing, but I had to travel itch. Originally, I was looking at Nepal, Sri Lanka, Indian, going to places like that. I've been fascinated with those countries, many countries, but I've been fascinated with those countries since I was a little kid. A year before that, I um, visited Taiwan for a month, and man, I really loved it. I loved Chinese culture. So I decided to go to China for a couple months. Uh, Instead of just being a backpacker, I would, I would teach English. There's a pretty big demand for it. You know, living there as a teacher, I could simulate more into the culture than just being a backpacker. Actually, earlier I said I had a travel itch. It's, it was more than that. I've always, I've always been a restless soul. I, I still am now. Probably not as much, but I'm always curious. I mean, you know, what's going on over there? I remember when I was like seven or eight years old. I uh, was on the school bus going home and. You know, instead of going home, like price five or even more stops before where I lived, I decided to get off at a random stop and I saw some kid that was in my class and I was like, hey, can I uh, go to your home? He's like, okay. So I went to his home and his mother's like, who's this? He's like, uh, this is some kid in my class. I mean, he wasn't even a friend. I had my phone number pinned to my jacket. So the mother of this classmate of mine, she, Saw the phone number, called my mother, and my mother came and picked me up. She, to say the least, she wasn't real happy about this. My mother was always uh, pretty protective. So the thought of her little boy being at some random person's house was, wasn't really good, but to me, it seemed like a good idea at the time. So I guess you could say that I'm not one who sticks to the script. Uh, I think outside the box, I'm pretty flexible, which has been good and bad in my life, but it is what it is. Uh, Moving on. As I said, I am a restless soul, but I wouldn't say I'm like 100% impulsive. But you know, in the, in the same breath, I've never taught English before. Most of my jobs have been in an office in front of a computer. Back in those days, if you mentioned about me teaching, I would think I would teach like a class in Photoshop or HTML or web development or video editing or Flash, something like that. But teaching English, uh, you know, I didn't know the first thing about teaching English. So I wanted to be properly prepared. So at the local college, I found a wonderful program that will teach you for a couple weeks on how to be an ESL teacher. And once you're done with this course, they'll place you into a class. It's on like a volunteer type basis. And the only requirement is that you have a bachelor's degree in something. So I completed the course, I passed the test, and they gave me an assignment to work in a classroom to teach adults in the community English at night. Um, I believe it was like two, three times a night during the week after work. The classrooms were 10 to 15 students, age ranging from 25 to 50, predominantly like Eastern European or Hispanic. There's a couple of like Asian people. I, th I think they're all Chinese. And it's, like I said, it's all people from the community. I loved it. At first I was like really nervous, but I'd say after a week or so, I totally hit my groove. I got comfortable in the classroom. I, yeah, I was well received by the students. It was, it was going great. And that sound cliche, it was very rewarding. The materials were top notch. They're perfect. Uh, they're elementary, 
which was pretty good because I'd say a little over half of the class was like at an elementary level while the other half they were probably a little more advanced or a little more towards the beginner but that's the great thing about teaching adults they'll help each other out they're flexible I was able to kind of like customize the lesson to try to meet everybody's requirement it, it was it was fantastic so with my love of Asia and my newfound love of teaching I decided to make the move to China for four months uh, three months ch uh, teaching and one month just traveling around so I found a service online that would do short or long-term um, job placements in predominantly China and Thailand so for a couple hundred dollars I found a um, job teaching English in a city called Binzhou it's in the Shandong province in China I remember a couple of my Chinese friends are like why why are you going to China's a really big country why the heck are you going to Binzhou I'm gonna be kind about the city because the people were wonderful I had a really good experience there but the, the put it nicely I would say it wasn't the most developed or the most refined or fanciest city in China I mean this this was back in 2005 a couple years before the Beijing Olympics you know what I'll leave China to part two of this series just some of the um, adventures I got into the experiences and all that good stuff when I taught there and after that I'll talk about my time in Thailand teaching from uh, 2007 to 2011 if you're currently abroad as a teacher or just an expat worker um, please talk about your experiences if you have no experience about this if you're just watching the video you know leave a comment on what I cover you know what I didn't cover what you agree with disagree whatever I'd love to hear from you if you're not subscribed and you like videos like this or similar please subscribe and if you are subscribed and haven't clicked that bell click that bell to get notifications on when new content comes out if you like this video give a thumbs up to it and please remember no matter who you are or where you are peace